Hello everybody, today I will show you how to create a schedule table for uh, cable trays and pull out the total length of different types of cable trays. Uh, here we have drawn the different uh, different type of uh, different types of uh, cable trays. So we have 200, 300, 400, and 500. Currently, these cable trays are not uh, are not separated by some service type of cable trays, but we will separate that after after we create some definitions. So. If we want to create some definitions, we have to go to property sets define. Here we here we will create our cable tray uh, on style. So cable tray length. Okay. Uh, it applies to objects and cable tray. And here we will add some manual first manual definitions so service type okay here we will add some automatic property definitions like width and height of course height of cable trays and here that that will be enough for now so we will press ok then uh, if we want to create some uh, group of uh, service type cable trace we have to create some list definitions so we will go to list definition and here we will create new list of definitions we will say it's service type it applies to manual property definition and we can add item so we can write power fire alarm and for example for IT okay apply okay so we have now created uh, we, we created the property set uh, a list of property definitions and now we will go back to property set define go to our cable tree length and we will say that we want to add in our service type we want to add type and list and source will be service type okay so now we have like some drop down menu of our service type cable trays okay now our cable trays are not currently set by property definitions so we have mark all cable trays choose cable tray and here go to external data in properties menu and here add property sets add our property set defined cable tray length okay now all cable trays have external data from our own property sets so if we if we choose one cable tray we can see it's automatically height and width from from original data and here we can choose which service type this cable trace so for example we want to all of these cable trays it would be alarm for example this will be five and of course we can add we can add in the other cable trace we can add the other service types and in the next step we will we will create our schedule table divided by types of the cable trace